In this week's parsha, we have the giving of the machatzis shekel, the half shekel. And the pasuk says, "Vinosnu, you will give it." Vinosnu is a palindrome. You can read it forwards and backwards. It's the exact same spelling. And the Balaturim says this teaches us that when it comes to tzaka, what you give is what you will receive. The truth is, it's like that way in life. What you give, you will get back. And if you give everything, your whole heart, to another Jew or to Hashem, you will never lose out. You will always receive that which you have given. Recently, I saw an amazing story. There was a couple in Eretz Yisrael that had not had children for 17 and a half years, and the time came for them to adopt. Well, the red tape that they had to go through was almost too much to bear. The most private and probing questions into every little minuscule moment of their lives, stripped of all their privacy. But they answered the questions one by one until the last part of the questionnaire was given to them. They had to play a game. It's a game. They gave them five pieces of paper. Write on those pieces of paper your five greatest loves. And the husband began to write. Number one, Hashem. Number two, Shabbos. Number three, Torah and Tefillah on one paper. Number four, Parnassah, supporting my family, my wife. And number five, last but not least, Shira Vechazanos, song, and he loved to hear cantors sing, Chazanos. Well, he gave the five to the person who was doling out the questions, and then the fellow said to him, okay, be mevater on one, sacrifice one. He took the paper that said Shira Vechazanos on it, he pushed it forward. I'll sacrifice on that. Sacrifice another, he told him. And he sacrificed Parnassa. Sacrifice another. He looked at the papers. Shabbos, Torah and Tefillah, HaKadosh Baruch the Almighty Himself. He says, I'm sorry, I cannot be mevater on any of these. The fellow says to him, you don't understand. You have to complete the process. If you don't, you'll fail. And we can't proceed with the adoption. And he looked at his wife. And he looked at the papers. And he said, then I will fail. And the person on the other end was flabbergasted. You're going to fail. He says, yes. I cannot be mevatar. I cannot give up on any of these three. Dejectedly, he walked out of the room together with his wife. They failed. They would not be able to adapt. Well, one year later, miraculously, they were blessed with twins. When you sacrifice, when you give, Hashem doesn't forget. Not every story has this happily ever after ending. Sometimes we don't get to see the other end of the story. But we trust and we believe that you'll be rewarded. And you will give your whole heart and soul and watch. And hopefully you'll be blessed to see that reward given back to you.